Hi everyone. Guess what? This is not May May. This is Amanda. May May and Vince are out of town today with Thomas and Joe on a basketball tournament. So we decided it would be a good time for me to play around with a chalk couture a little bit. So what I'm doing today is I love this vintage truck. I just, I'm all about a truck. And so I've, I've been wanting to work with it and that's what we're gonna do today. Now the, it's called the Simple Vintage Truck and it comes with these two pieces. And what this is actually is the sideboard. You would put it down first and then after that dries, then you come back and you lay on the outer layer of the truck. What I'm working with today is three different colors. I have a peacock blue. Uh, blue is my favorite color and I adore this color. And so I want blue on my truck. I have a fawn color. It's really pretty. And then I'm going to use bright white also on this truck. I did want to mention we've had a lot of sneak peeks and different information coming down from home office about our new catalog coming out in a couple of weeks and they have let us know a little secret on the truck and on the camper. Both of those will be in the new catalog to begin with but as soon as they sell out they will be retired. So if you're into trucks or campers you need to grab them as quick, quickly as you can or they're going to be gone. Now what a chalk couture transfer is, is a silk screen. As you can see there, if there's a screen in the center, it's not totally open. You would, when you pull your transfer off of your backer, you normally want to do something called fuzzing, which is just lay it down on a microfiber rag or something, lay it down and pull it up. And this takes away the sticky off of it to a degree so that you can manage it and it doesn't stick to your base and cause problems. Now because I did use this earlier on a trial run, it's not as sticky, it doesn't need all the fuzzing. I just wanted to mention that is something you do on a new one. The great thing with these transfers is even though they stick to your chalkboard in place enough for you to use them, they are movable until you decide where you want it to be. So I'm just going to go down through here and I'm going to decide about where I want it to be. I did want to mention, you'll notice I've got some specks on my chalkboard, some little scratches. Don't let that worry you on a chalkboard or on your whatever your backing may be. Cover it with what you're doing. It doesn't have to be a problem at all. Okay, and I just kind of eyeballed that about where I want it to be. Okay, what I want to do today, I'm sorry, I got a little gappy, there it goes. What I want to do today is an effect called the ombre effect, where you take two colors and it kind of blends from one color down into the other. It's something I've been watching and I've been dabbling with a little bit for some practice. Still need a little more practice, but that's what we're going to try to do today on the sideboard of the truck. Because paste dries fairly quickly, you need to go ahead and have everything ready, especially if you're working with a large area or more than one color, so that you can move straight from one to the other and not have to stop and mix and open containers and things of that nature. So I'm getting both my colors, the peacock blue and then the fawn. I've got them both open. I, I've already have them stirred. If they needed it, you would just stir them up real good. It says to take your darker color to start with first. So I'm going to start with my blue and I'm going to come in from the top and I'm just going to work it to about halfway down the screen. You just want to make sure your screen has a good coating that you cover every area that's see-through. Because it is paste, you do want to move on in a good, steady fashion and work with it and get it done. You can't just let it sit. If it dries on the transfer, when you pull it up, it pulls your paste up and it's not going to look good. Now once you get it down and you get your transfer covered, you come back and you pull up any excess that you can and just put it back in your jar. 
and you're actually using very small amounts a jar will last you for quite a while okay then you come in with your second color from the bottom and come up and this is where I'm bringing the fawn in okay and you leave a little bit of a gap between the two colors Again, pull off all your excess and put it back in your jar. That saves plenty for another time. You want to get out as many of the lines as you can because if it's a very distinct line, you will see it in your final product once it dries. But if it's just a little bit, it's not going to matter. Now, come back to come back for the ombre effect. There's a few different ways you can do it. I saw someone earlier use their finger and kind of got the lighter color and smeared it. I tried that and that effect needs more practice for me. It just didn't look as good as I had wanted it to. So I'm simply gonna come in with a smaller squeegee with a lighter color on it. Make sure you have enough for what you wanna do because you cannot put this back in the jar once you do this because you've mixed colors. But I'm just gonna go down the center line and come over that center gap and make sure it's thoroughly covered. There it goes. Just make sure everything's covered good. I'm going to go back down here and clean up a little more of this lighter color off. I don't want to bring my mixed colors down so I'm gonna do it with another squeegee I was already using. Okay so that should have it. Now we're gonna pull up the transfer. Anytime you go to pull off a transfer always make sure you get it by two corners at opposite sides and pull it down in a good solid motion. Never pull it from a corner because that will actually stretch your transfer and ruin it where it will not work correctly again. Now I'm just placing that transfer in a bowl of water that I already had prepped sitting here beside me to put them in so I can get it to the sink and clean it up. I like that a lot better. The Doing it with my finger this morning just didn't quite turn out like I wanted it to, but I like the way this blended. Let me clean up that little bit around the edges right there. Again, that's a mark, but we'll cover that in just a moment. Okay, I do have to let that dry completely before I move on to my next layer. And while I'm doing that, I'm, as I said, I'm doing a little bit of cleanup, getting ready for my next layer. The best way for drying is to let it air dry. Just if you have something else you can be doing, clean up, whatever, walk away, let it dry, and then come back to it. If time is important, such as in videos, etc., you can use heat. Preferably a hair dryer. It's not as hot, but because we don't have a hair dryer here to use, we are using a heat tool. Just be very careful using this. Keep it at a minimum and don't put it too, too close to your surface. You want to just kind of keep it back and use it the least you can use it. That seems to be good and dry. So now we're going to come back with the chuck body. 
layer in this one's pretty simple. I'm just really watching the tire area. Well, I say it's simple, it was earlier. <laughs> the tire area and the undercarriage on the truck should be pretty simple to get it lined up. There we go. Now once you get a little more practice with layering, you could so come in here and maybe do the railing on the truck bed in a brown for wood or maybe do some red headlights or yellow headlights or anything you wanted to do to break it down into different colors. But to keep it kind of simple today, I'm just going to do an all over white. I'm not much of a crafter in general. Just sitting, measuring, things of that nature just tends to stress me more than it helps me. But this is one product here that I can come in and I can just sit and paste away and it just calms me. Trying to get out some of these lines. I've still got quite a few of them and I don't want them to show in my final product. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let me get my fingers clean real quick. And then we're gonna pull this up. Okay, it looks like maybe I should have let it dry just a little longer. I jumped the gun a little bit and it kind of pulled up a little bit of my blue. So, you know, I can see where that's happened because in my mind, this is an older truck. It's going to be faded and peeling. I'm not going to let that stress me. If you wanted it to be nice and crisp and clean and this bothers you that it's not as clean looking as it could be, then this is a perfect example of the great part about paste is you can wash it and start over. But just really be careful that you don't jump ahead and, you know, let it dry really good before you move into your next layer. But like I said, I think I'm going to leave it. I think this is an old rusty truck in my mind, and this is, I'm going to leave it. I think right now I'm going to take a moment and pause and go clean my transfers and get, because they're big in my bowl and I don't have any more room. So I'm gonna get everything cleaned up and put away and let that dry before I move on to my next level. Okay, so I've had plenty of time for this to dry good. I just kind of cleaned up my surface, put away the things I was, was through with so I could pull out some different things. And I've decided that because February's coming up and that's Valentine's, all about some love. Well, we got in a new transfer set that's this Simple Truck Add-on Spring that has some so cute accessories to go in the back of the truck. We've got hearts, you know, getting ready for Easter. There's Easter bunnies, all sorts of things, but I decided to go with the hearts today. We're gonna make this all about some love. Now, when I go to line up this transfer, this one's really easy. You just line it up along the top line of your little rail there on your truck. Try to keep it as close to either even or slightly overlapping to make sure you get good coverage and don't end up with a gap between your truck bed and your whatever your add-on is. All right. So I got to looking and my first thought was red. I mean, that just makes sense. Hearts, red, love. But for some reason, even though this candy apple red is gorgeous, it just didn't feel right as the color for me on here. And for some, it may be perfect. It may be what you want. If it is, go with it. But for some reason, it just wasn't right for me. So I pulled out the current jam, 
which other than the blues honestly is my favorite color right now but it's it's in the reddish family between a red and a pink and I just felt like this would flow better with the colors I've already picked today and so we're gonna come in and just like we did with the truck just a complete coverage light coverage of everywhere that you can see through the screen There you go. Hearts, hearts everywhere. I love that. I think it's just so crisp and clean and pretty. And what I want to put at the top, which comes from the same transfer, the Simple Truck Add-on Spring Edition, is I'm going to have the words loads of love. Now I do want to do my love the same color as my hearts. And I already have that open, so I'm just going to kind of go ahead and get this laid out before I move on to a different color. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I want that to be. Now, if you need things to be very precise, Chocotour does have a placement tape that you can lay across there. It has line measures to help you see where you're going. It's removable. And it's really, really simple to use. We love it. But in this case, I'm not too worried about it being exact. I do want to make sure that will fit above it. I think I'm going to come down just a tiny bit more just to make sure I've got a good clearance in my letters up there. Okay, so I have the word love. That is so pretty, 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 pretty. And we're going to use the same color, the current jam. really like that. I'm going to take just a quick moment to dry that a little so I don't get on it with the other transfer. Come in above it with the loads of love. Loads of. Alright, and I think I'm going to go with the foam color again to kind of balance that color up. With this being smaller letters, I'm just going to use my multi-tool on it. I love using this tool. A lot of times on the bigger transfers, the larger squeegees give you more coverage quickly, but when you've got just lines and details, this is the perfect tool to use. I love it. What do you think? That is so simple to work with. It's my favorite pastime. Looking back over it, I still think, you know, if this bothers you that it pulled up some, then that's something you could fix. You could probably come in with the, the multi-tool maybe and do some light touch up. 
But in my mind, this is an old ragged farm truck anyway. It's gonna have bents and dents and dings and fading. So that works with what I love when I picture one of these old trucks. So you're probably wondering a little bit about Chocotour. And the information is all gonna be linked below to tell you how to get to my website, chocotour.com forward slash Amanda Ray. If you're interested in possibly finding out more, all the information is going to be there on the website. If you think you would like to try a little bit with it to sample it, but you're not really ready to invest in something you're not sure about yet, I totally get it. Chuck Couture actually has a program that's going on right now. Uh, it's probably running towards the end. It may be about over with this while supplies last. It's the You Are Enough Kickstart program. And with this, I don't know that program's the right word there, but that's what come out. With this, what you get is a complete setup to try your own project. You get the octagon chalkboard. You get the B-size You Are Enough transfer. You get four packets of paste to coordinate with the items that's in the transfer, and you get a squeegee. All of this is the complete basic setup to start your first project, and it's only $34.99. The most important part about this is at this time, there is no obligation for you to go further. No monthly commitment, no minimum purchases. This is a way to try Chalk Couture and get a feel for it and see if this is something you want to do or not. But it is while supplies last and I'm not certain of this, but I feel like it may possibly be running out at the end of this month. Now, once you try it, I'm sure you're going to fall in love like every one of us have that's touched it. And from there, you would go onto the website and you would learn more about becoming a designer or the different levels of how you can join. But every bit of that information is available on the website and you can go into all that. It's linked below this video. As you can tell, I'm extremely nervous. This is my first real video and I'm I, I, I think I did okay. I mean, I, I know, I'm nervous in my talking and I know Jordan's going to clean me up on a lot of things, but the project itself, I'm really tickled with how it turned out and I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I guess that's about it. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you soon.